Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm back at Universal Studios Hollywood to check up on the park, especially the Halloween Horror Nights construction because a lot's been going on this week. So, how about you and I dive right in. Alrighty, you know the drill. We're starting at the Curious George parking structure. Here's a look at Hill House this week. We'll head over to Pandora's box in a minute. There's a lot of people working on site today. As you can tell, there is a lot of stuff uh, on the surface lot here at Curious George. Well, there's a lot of trucks, a lot of um, stanchions that are all set up for the queue spaces that they'll build once we get uh, closer to the opening. There's a lot of lighting that's been installed, a lot of lumber still going into the mazes, the final little bits and pieces. And you can see right here, They've installed the sound barrier around the perimeter of both Haunting of Hill House and Pandora's Box. They even have like a little emergency uh, kind of lane right here. But yeah, soundproofing is all set up and that's just to kind of damper the sound that bleeds into the housing area over there because yes, uh, you can hear it from pretty far, the music uh, and uh, all the sound effects and whatnot in these mazes is incredibly loud. So they try to uh, buffer that as much as possible. And that's what that that's what these big giant black tarps are for. Yeah, exciting things are uh, happening this week. There's a lot of activity here at the Curious George surface lot. And here's a look at Pandora's box. Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff staged out front here. We got all the fencing, we have uh, truss systems for lighting, and we also have boxes of lighting and audio. Got cables everywhere. Yeah, they are racing towards the finish line. Again, only a couple more weeks and they have to have these things ready to go. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, late at night they uh, start doing some sound mixing and lighting uh, kind of work. And of course, the painters and the carpenters doing their last minute little touches. Oh, it's getting real. Uh, how exciting though. This is this is the part of the project that is really exciting because yeah, there's just so many people scrambling to get as much done as possible in such a short amount of time. All right, now that we looked at what's going on this week at the Curious George surface lot, let's head inside the theme park and have some fun there. And also joining me today is Michael. Hello, and I love that Halloween mask you got on there. Supporting the Disney pumpkins, I see. Yeah, you know, it's been Halloween since August 1st. You know that, right? It's been all Halloween for me all year round. Oh, all over, okay, well, yeah. that's even better. Yeah, for me, it started August 1st, <laughs> and I'm just so stoked that it's finally, you know, here. We're And we're getting a good Halloween this year. I'm just so stoked about that. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to experience not just Halloween Horror Nights, but all the other events here in Southern California and in Florida. I'm just so looking forward to it. I'm noticing as I'm chit-chatting here, the firehouse sub sign is up. Let's go upstairs real quick to check that out before we head inside the park. Oh yeah, look at this. Sign has been installed and it's got some neon around the edges there. That's really nice. You know, I think they're gonna try to get this open before Halloween Horror Nights is ready to go or at the time of Halloween Horror Nights opening. That would be pretty smart for firehouse subs to do that just because they can make a lot of money this season if they have this location open just in time for the event. Always gonna say hello to King Kong. Hello there, buddy, nice to see you. Glad you're still hanging in there. And I don't know if you guys are noticing, but the weather today is very like dark and gloomy. It's like total spooky weather and I am living for it. So, I, uh, this is so it just gets me in the mood. Oh look, the fog is already rolling in. Has Horror Nights officially started already? I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, is this mist? Yeah, it is. No, this is just this is Horror Nights fog. It's not mist. Okay. Don't pay attention to that over there. This is Horror Nights fog. You know, pretty soon up here in the front, they're gonna put that giant banner that goes along right where the uh, turnstiles are and it lists all the different mazes and uh, things going on for HHN. I think we're gonna see that relatively soon. And upon entering the park, yeah, they have a lot of lighting fixtures that have been installed on top of the turnstile archways. Yeah, they're getting ready up here too, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see some intelligent lighting installed here in the next week or two on these two sections. It's nice to see little bits of progress here up front because for a while there, uh, I wasn't really sure when they were gonna install a lot of the lighting for the scare zone up here, but yep, alas, they've done it uh, this week now as far as the scare zone up here in the front of the park. 
The first thing you're gonna see is chainsaw rangers, so you know one can guess it's probably gonna be a lot of chainsaw people, so just be warned when you're walking in the park, you're just gonna be hit with that right off the bat, which is really exciting. And then when you get deeper into the park, you're gonna be met with Demon City, which is a bunch of like demon hellish kind of creatures hanging out over by the Universal Plaza. And then the other scare zone that's here at the park is there's only three scare zones this year is Universal Monsters Silver Screen Queens. Oh, okay, silver. So wait, screen well, hold on, we're gonna. Queens? Silver. <laughs> It's the most like. Why is that so difficult? It's a it's bro? a it's a very difficult name. It's Universal Monsters Silver Screen Queens. Oh, I thought there it was Screen. Go. Okay. Because they're playing on words, the Silver Screen, and yeah. you know all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, Silver Scream Queens, spelled with a Z. Yeah, I, we keep it real on yeah. on Theme Park Obsession. We don't mess around. That was a very difficult scare zone to pronounce, but we did it. So yeah, there's three scare zones this year. Uh, one up here in the very front of the park right when you walk in, one deeper into the park closest to the Universal Plaza, and then one on French Street as you exit the classic Universal Monster Maze, which uh, this year is the Bride of Frankenstein Lives. And then over here at Waterworld, this is your current look at the maze that is here in this particular section, and this year it is Halloween 4, so Halloween 4 is making a comeback, and we predicted that a few weeks back just based on what the facade looked like. So yeah, another returning maze this year, and this is what the back half of it looks like. It's getting really scary in there. Can't really see much though because uh, this particular section is just um, black, so there's really nothing going on here. I'm sure all the detailed stuff is deeper into the maze, and you can see the audio rigged right up there, so there's something going on in that room. Yeah, you really can't see much around the corner, and I'm obviously not gonna try to, uh, you know, get deep in there, because I, uh, obviously I wanna be respectful to the park. But yeah, how exciting, the construction fence has been taken down in this particular section, so we can see the exit of Halloween 4. And speaking of returning mazes, the Walking Dead attraction is making a comeback this year as well. And oh my goodness, speaking of like creepy things, it's Frankenstein's monster, hello! It's nice to see you. It's been a while. You know, I hope you're excited for HHN this year. Yeah. Yeah, your bride is over there this year, and like, how awesome is that? Yeah, yeah she's gorgeous, she's lovely. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's, I know, that's what I was saying earlier, it's perfect. I know you, you would really love that face mask. That's why we got it in today, so, awesome. All right, and as we get a little deeper in the park here, massive update, breaking news. We have the iTels back, which means that we're gonna see some fire this year, and it, you know, it does make sense if they're doing a Demon City Scare Zone that uh, has creatures from, from, the, uh, from the underworld here, then yeah, you would expect some fire. So yeah, the, uh, the fire towers are back, and how exciting is that? We haven't seen these for a long time. This is like old school HHN, I love it. Yeah, and, you know, I'm sure they're gonna deck all these out, and then the fire little uh, flamethrowers will go up right there. I'm sure they'll have some things on the side of the ITELs. Oh, this is gonna look really cool, and I'm sure they're gonna have a bunch of fog in this area too. Oh yes, stanchion alert. You know, these guys are just hanging out right here. They're, they're all talking amongst each other, getting ready for HHN. They're, you know, they're telling each other their game plan this year to handle the crowds. Yeah, these are probably gonna go all inside the plaza right there for the Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Oh, and look at this, the walls have been taken down for the Bride of Frankenstein Lives. How neat, and we get a full look at this giant book facade. I really love the artwork on here though. Ooh, shout out to whoever uh, drew all that up, because that looks great. Now we get because we only saw the the first half up here when the construction fence was up, but now that it's all down, we see the bottom half and it looks really nice. I love that. And uh, obviously, people behind me that were walking by, they're like, "I wonder what that's like." The Bride of Frankenstein. I live. I'll tell you what it's like. It is terrifying. And then here's the other side of the page with the bride right there. I love that. That portrait is so cool. And on the inside, it's kind of hard to tell because uh, the camera exposure, but. It's just, a, a, looks like another page of the book, right when you walk in. So that's gonna be the, the theme throughout the entire maze, is just gonna be going through different pages of the book and you'll see those scenes play out in front of you, which will be really cool. Yeah, this is the one maze that I'm really excited for out of uh, the entire lineup. It's this one, and then the, my second most anticipated would be Haunting of Hill House, which is over at the Curious George surface lot. Yeah, but I'm curious to see what this one's gonna look like on the inside. And then around the corner on French Street, this is what the exit looks like. So, yeah, this is where uh, the end of the attraction is. And then you can see over there, this is another one of these big giant scenes because you can see the walls go above the eight foot mark. 
these walls right here are about eight feet. So this is probably a good nine or 10 feet. So whatever's gonna be going on in that particular scene is probably gonna be really cool. But I don't know if you walk directly out of that scene into the exit right here, or if there's some goodies beyond that uh, particular corner of the attraction. But yep, this is your view of the exit of the Bride of Frankenstein lives. All right, we just got off the world famous studio tour here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, not much has changed on the Super Nintendo World project on the back half that we can see. And then as far as the Halloween Horror Nights front is concerned, really not much has changed there either. I was expecting there to be some work in front of the Bates Motel, but all they're really doing is uh, kind of ripping up some of the asphalt. So maybe that's prep for what they're gonna do for the Horror Nights stuff because uh, Terror Tram has been announced. That Terror Tram is coming back this year and the theme for the Terror Tram is Purge. So I would suspect some purge kind of stuff is going to be happening in front of the Bates Motel and throughout the War of the Worlds set, which I didn't see anything happening there either. But we're going to check back next week as we get closer uh, to the event opening and they might have some work done then. But other than that, it was just fun to ride the studio tour. Uh, and of course, it's fun to see people's reactions that have never been on the studio tour before. Uh, people clap and cheer and uh, they ooh and ah when they see things that they just haven't seen before. So it was really nice to ride the studio tour with a lot of new folks that just haven't done it before. Made it down the first escalator towards the lower lot and not much has changed at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre maze which was right behind Revenge of the Mummy. So that looks to be the same. It looks to be a completed project or nearly complete, probably 95% done. And as far as the Super Nintendo World project is concerned, I don't really see any crews on site today, at least in the main section of the land, like the heart of the land. Don't really see anybody there. I didn't really see anybody on the uh, backside of the, uh, the land as well when we were on the studio tour. So it looks like it's just gonna be another slow day at Super Nintendo World and maybe sometime next month they'll ramp up construction. Made it back up the escalator and I just wanted to make a pit stop over here at the special effects show. It still hasn't returned to uh, the park. So I wonder when they're gonna bring this back. And you know, another thing I wonder is if they're gonna change it. That would be kind of nice if they switched it up a little bit. The front entrance of Waterworld. This is what the facade looks like for Halloween 4. Again, this very similar to the facade that we saw a few years back. Just a couple little differences. Now, you know, I wonder if this was supposed to be something different because remember when they put this up, the coloring on the facade was extremely different. And then they decided to paint this white. So I wonder if there was a change sometime in the design plan and they decided, you know, let's do Halloween 4. But yeah, this is what, uh, this is what the facade looks like now. It looks really nice. I love how they just stress it because they painted it white and of course the white is very vibrant and uh, vivid. Uh, but then they go back in and they make it look old and weathered and it's been sitting here for ages. It's so cool. Well, that was a nice little quick trip to Universal Studios Hollywood to check up on all the little updates this week. Again, I'm just counting down the days for Halloween Horror Nights 2021's opening day, which is September 9th, which is right around the corner. We'll be back next week to see what's changed on that front, because I'm sure more decorations are gonna be popping up in the park very, very soon. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video from Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you enjoyed it and that quick look at the Halloween Horror Nights update this week. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge, huge, huge thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys have been absolutely amazing and have helped out tremendously these past couple days. So again, Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. That really does mean the world to me and you guys have just really made a big difference in uh, you know, the channel the past couple days. But other than that though, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.